Hey guys, Mars Thing in here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and today we are going to be looking at the team building guide for the Wicked Bloodline stage of Super Battle Road. This one has a lot of options so we're going to be going over the top picks and honourable mentions as always. Um, just like any of these guides I do, if you feel like there's any units that I miss or didn't talk about enough, let us know in the comments and we can always discuss it further down there. So. The main leader technically for the category is still the AGL Metal Cooler. This is the one that the game will give you as a friend to use if you can't find one. Um, and he's still a pretty solid unit. He lowers attack, does immense damage, which is good. Lowering attack on Super Battle Road is always useful. Um, fairly decent amount of attack and defense. Uh, he gets extra attack with each attack received. He recovers 7% HP at the end of the turn in which attack was received, which is good. Because if you can get him to attack lower the person who's going to be attacking him, then he's not going to take that much damage overall. And then you get a little bit of a heal at the end of the turn as well. So that can definitely come in very handy. And then of course, if you do drop below 50% HP, which is very, very easy to do in Super Battle Road, you then transform into the Metal Cooler Core. Now, unfortunately, he is one of the giant form characters that doesn't have any sort of passive. So you can't get any extra key or anything like that. So you will need six key to super attack with the Metal Cooler Core. Hopefully you could luck into some additionals or something if you're not very lucky with the way the key is laid out. But these sort of things are always useful in Super Battle Road because you are basically getting two to three turns potentially of free damage where you are unable to take damage. So he is very, very useful for that. And then obviously, just like any cooler unit, he's going to link pretty well with the rest of the team. This team is going to benefit massively from the fact that so many units that we're going to talk about today have big bad bosses. So if you have them fully le link leveled, or at least just have this link fully leveled uh, to level 10, they're going to be getting that 25% attack and defense all the time, which is going to make a huge difference in this stage. So that's something to bear in mind. Now, next up, we have probably the most popular choice for the leader, is the str cooler so of course technically he isn't a wicked bloodline leader he has terrifying conquerors or transformation boost but of course as we all know by this point you can make a full wicked bloodline team under that leader skill and cooler still one of the top 10 probably tur's in the game so you know if you're running him you can probably find a decent friend with a decent amount of orb investment and then you are off to the races because he lowers attack and defense on super which again very good he then buffs terrifying conquerors allies most of the time because you're going to have two or more enemies uh, most of the freezer race units that are on transformation boost that's where they fall under um, and then of course once you get down to only having one enemy left he's going to be buffing transformation boost um, but to be honest at that point you'll have probably transformed him um, because whenever there's a pure Saiyan or hybrid Saiyan enemy, he can transform on turn three. And the Wicked Bloodline stage, I think I've got it up here. Yeah, Wicked Bloodline stage is literally all Saiyans and hybrid Saiyans. So you're not going to have any problem uh, transforming with him. And then, of course, once he transforms, he becomes an absolute madman. Uh, guaranteed crits, additionals, ridiculously high attack stat. Um... I feel like the way this is probably going to go for most people is you'll start whittling down their health, maybe take out one of them, get to turn three, transform Cooler, and then Cooler just kind of goes ham and cleans up the rest of the fight pretty much. So STR Cooler, I would say, is probably the best unit on the entire team for this run, save for maybe like Golden Freezer for defense. But in terms of offense, this guy is just going to be absolutely crazy. So I thought I'd mention the LR, Mecha Freezer and King Cold. Uh, obviously, they are a free-to-play option with a 100% to stats leader skill. They are a pretty decent unit. Uh, they finally added the last copy into the shop so that you can actually have these guys rainbow now if you have been picking up all the copies. Um, they get a pretty decent amount of attack and defense, especially on a full Wicked Bloodline team. And then I think almost, uh, well, not every stage actually, but a couple of stages will have a Super Saiyan enemy as well. So they will get that extra key and be able to do the 18 key super pretty easily. Uh, they lower attack on their 12 key and then they raise extreme allies attack on their 18 key and it's for two turns. So even if you're say floating them off in slot three, you can get their 18 key super and then it's still going to benefit your next rotation as well. So they potentially could be a good 
third slot floating unit if you don't have to use them uh, for their leader skill. So then we go on to the Metal Cooler Army. They're a pretty solid LR to include on the team. Uh, they get a bunch of built-in uh, normal attacks, uh, or which have a chance to become a super. So if you get very lucky with the RNG, they could super attack four times in the one turn, which is very good. Um, they also raise Extreme Class Allies attack by 30% for one turn on the 18 key super. Um, so that is very good as well. Um, they do also get more of a uh, hate attack and defense boost, depending on uh, the more HP you have. So they're kind of... They can be a bit risky to use in certain situations because if you start the turn on very low HP then they're not going to have much defense which that means they're not going to be able to tank very well. But obviously you can kind of shore that up with a defensive item usage. So again they are another unit that is probably mainly focused on offense and can dish out a lot of damage for you during the run. So then we have Golden Freezer. Now obviously there are four Golden Freezers in the game now. <laughs> Two of which are, like this guy, the sort of ultimate tank. You've got this guy and the AGL one. I picked this one uh, because he has the better link set. Um, I think he is slightly better overall than the AGL one. Technically, the AGL one is a slightly better tank. But I think in almost every other department, this guy is slightly better. So when it comes down to picking which one of the two that you're going to bring... Um, personally I think the tech one is better but if you have the AGL one with more dupes invested or something like that then obviously the AGL one is perfectly fine this guy is going to be your put in slot one in front of all the attacks and then basically watch him take no damage and then you can have someone like Cooler in slot two just go off and deal tons of damage to everybody so not really a huge amount we need to say about this guy whether you bring him or the AGL one you can just put them in front of the most attacks on the rotation and then watch them take very little damage, which is basically what you want in Super Battle Road. Obviously, if you drop below 50% HP, now that he has his easy A, he still does have some damage reduction, and he gets an attack, extra attack buff as well. Um, so, still okay, but will definitely start taking more damage when you drop below that HP, so be careful of that. So then we go on to the first of our AoE freezers. So we've got the AGL Final Form one. So he hits all enemies, he does supreme damage, and he has a medium chance to seal. So 30% chance, and that can go off against every single enemy. Or it could go off against none, or it could go off against one or two. But if you're very lucky, you could seal everyone, which is very, very powerful in Super Battle Road. Because stray super attacks are normally the thing that ends a run out of nowhere so that is a very powerful ability um obviously when you're facing multiple enemies he gets extra key as well as extra attack and defense so that's going to be very good if you have him on rotation with the cooler then he's obviously getting the uh 50 extra buff from him as well if there's multiple enemies so he is going to be very solid his defense even with all those buffs is still not crazy like don't expecting him don't expect him to be taking double digits with no items active but he still will have very reasonable defense and then when you get down to only one enemy left he has a high chance to stun them as well so he is a very good utility unit for this team and of course he does have big bad bosses as well so then we have the uh, other final form freezer. Now bear in mind you can't use both of these guys at the same time. So I do think this one is probably the better one to use. Now that he has his easy A. Um, because as I said there is a Goku family enemy on every single stage. Which means he guards all attacks. Gives all allies two key and attack and defense 20%. And then reduces damage by 50%. As well as having just a standard attack and defense 100%. He also infinitely stacks attack, so you're not going to have that many turns, but you know if you get a couple of additionals, he will be able to do a little bit of extra damage. But he also lowers attack on super, which again is something that is useful on Super Battle Road. So this guy's whole kit is almost designed for this stage of Super Battle Road, because there is a Goku family enemy on every single stage. So this guy is probably going to be one of the better units alongside the Golden Freezer in terms of defense. I would say for your rotations, if you are going to run double cooler leads, you want to have one rotation of Golden Freezer and Cooler, and then the other rotation of this guy and Cooler. And then 
just the sheer amount of damage and uh, from cooler and then defense from the freezer is just going to be a perfect combo so this guy's very good and then of course remember this guy's a free to play unit so even if you don't have him yet just get him farmed up i don't know his easy uh, extreme z area i don't know if it's available um I wonder, they probably won't bring them all back with the celebration, but this guy, very, very good. Hopefully you've done this guy already anyway, though, because you need him for the uh, Super Saiyan Goku Easy A. So. Then we have Metal Cooler, the support unit. Um, I do like to bring support units on Super Battle Road sometimes, uh, especially in the runs where I am using items, um, because he's pretty solid overall. He gives everyone 3 key and 40% defense, which is a really nice buff to everybody. Um, but there's nothing really too crazy about him other than that. Obviously, he'll link up pretty well with the other coolers, uh, especially if you bring the Metal Cooler army as well. So, there's not a huge amount to say about him. He's just a very solid support unit. Um, then we have the other AoE Freezer. So, second form Freezer, free to play. Um, he does mass damage to all enemies, greatly raises attack for one turn. Uh, he gets key plus 6 and an additional attack and defense 40% when facing 2 or more enemies. And then an additional 60% when target enemy is in defense down status. Not only are there a lot of units that will do that with their super attack, but then there is also the strongest clan in space link. If you have that at level 10, um, all enemies get a defense debuff already anyway. So then that will automatically be activating that part of his passive. Um, so he's going to be very good. I have him at full link level 10. So I probably will bring him along on the team, even if it is just for the first attempt. I'm not sure how well his defense will hold up for the no items run, but he is definitely a very solid unit. And he's a free to play option as well. So a lot of you guys will have access to him. So I do think he is worth bringing along. Then we have the OG cooler. I thought we'd talk about him. He doesn't have his easy A yet. So obviously he's not like a current top of the meta level unit but he's still pretty good he has 100 percent attack and defense he can potentially launch uh, double supers so then of course if you have hidden potential investment in him you can get three supers out of him in the one turn he links up well with the rest of the team he has big bad bosses so whilst he's not like you know still currently one of the top units in the game he's definitely a decent enough option for filling a slot on this team so i do think he is a good pick as well um, then we go on to the GT Freezer. So he's a bit of a random one. Um, the reason he can be good for Super Battle Road is because he has a chance to stun on Super Attack. It is only 30%, but stunning on Super Battle Road is incredibly powerful. Uh, especially when you get down to having like one enemy left. You can just kind of stun lock them and uh, it makes the rest of the fight incredibly easy. Um, and then of course he does get an additional 100% attack, attacks effective against all types when the target enemy super attack is sealed. I don't think we've talked about any units that can seal, um, so you probably won't get to see this active. But he can just be useful as a final slot filler if you need one extra unit on the team just because of his ability to stun. Although he's definitely not a top pick. And then another worthwhile one, we have the Cooler. He's not as good as the Freezer, which is why we've included him nearer to the end. But again, he's a unit that gets a whole bunch of extra buffs when there is a Goku family enemy, which of course, as we said, is every single stage on this one. Uh, attacks offensive against all types, all allies key to and attack, uh, all enemies, sorry, attack and defense minus 20%, which is definitely helpful. Um, and then of course he can get additional super attacks as well. So again, this guy can be pretty good, but of course he replaces the STR cooler. So you're really only gonna be bringing him if you don't have the STR cooler. And then as a final honorable mention, I thought I'd throw in golden cooler. Obviously to get his full kit activated, you really need him with Dragon Ball Heroes allies, which you're not gonna be doing on this team. So he's really only gonna be here for the all allies key plus two and attack and defense 20%. So if you have this guy, I mean, if you have him at like 55%, I guess there are probably better options for this team. Um, but he can be included as a support unit. He's got those decent links. Um, so he, he will be pretty solid on the team. Again, I feel like he's more of a uh, unit you bring if you just need to fill that last slot. And then he will be an off rotation uh, floating support unit. So flicking back over to the category very quickly. Um, we didn't talk about LR full power freezer. He obviously can be pretty good. He's not the best defensively. Uh, this LR freezer, we don't have his easy A yet, so he's definitely not really that good for us. 
the AGL Golden Freezer we talked about is uh, just as good of a choice as the Tech one. Uh, transforming Freezer, I don't think his defense is very good, but obviously every turn when he transforms, you do get a little bit of a heal at the start of the turn as well. Um, so he can be decent to fill the gaps. Um, this Golden Freezer is obviously not as good defensively, but still pretty good overall. Um, he raises defense. He's going to be very good in terms of damage compared to the other Golden Freezers. But the other Golden Freezers are just such good turn one tanks that I feel they are the better options. And then that kind of covers all the TURs. So I don't think anyone else any lower than here is worth it. I guess an honorable mention could go to King Cold as a unit that can fill a slot. Because he lowers attack just by being on the rotation as well as lowering attack with his super. I did actually use him in the OG, like way back in the day, extreme physical no items run. So he will take a lot of damage when he gets hit. But if you can hide him away, away in the right slot and uh, maybe stun or multiply attack lower the enemy that's going to potentially be hitting him. He will definitely survive, but he's definitely a liability when it comes to defense. So there you go. Those are my top picks and the honorable mentions for Wicked Bloodline Super Battle Road. As I said at the beginning, if you think I missed anyone or you wanted any more details on any of the units, let us know in the comment section down below. Uh, feel free to join my Discord. The link is in the description. We have team building sections over there as well. And uh, yeah, let me know what team you are going to be running. So that is going to be it for this one, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Uh, and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.